I'm Scott Allen Miller, and this is my daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Here in Nicaragua, one of the big things that we love to do, one of the big events that goes on, and one of the things that I think you guys, if you're visiting, if at all possible, should take a moment for most of you to go check out is the Ipica. This is the big party, the horse show that goes on all over the country, all throughout the year. There's so much that goes with this. It's one of the most iconic activities here in Nicaragua and one that most people who are visiting have no idea about. Well, coming up in uh, a few days, we're actually going to have the Ipica uh, here in uh, November. Here in Leon, it was supposed to be a few days ago, and because of the uh, tropical storm, we had to push it off a weekend. Whether it is raining or not, we are going to have it uh, in Leon this weekend. The last time we had the Ipico here in Leon, which was in the middle of summer, we had rain as well. I filmed at that Ipica, but did not have a chance to make an episode. So today we're going to actually show uh, footage from uh, several months ago here in Leon at the Ipica so that you know what to be looking forward to for the show that we'll be filming this weekend. So right after the bump, we're going to bring you scenes from the Leon Ipica. <laughs> to get us started off there with a bit of music and dancing. Welcome to the 2024 Leon Nicaragua Ipica. This is, uh, so I did this a little bit differently this year. I wanted to bring you, uh, I, wanted, I wanted to try filming a little bit differently. So Ipicas in the past, uh, and the, the term is Ipica or Ipico. It seems to be used, someone's gonna correct me, so thanks, get down in those comments, let me know. But it seems to be used interchangeably depending on where it's used. So if you say the national Ipico, it's, it's masculine. If you're saying uh, the Ipico of Leon, it's feminine. It just depends what it's being combined with. So it seems to be used almost like an adjective in, in that sense. But uh, other than that, I don't really know, but I definitely see it written both ways in official things and in like YouTube all the time. So I can't find anyone who seems to use it consistently other than combining the movies. Anyway, that's not the point. In the ones in the past, Nagarote, Managua, Leon in the past, when I filmed these, I've always walked along with the braid, which is, you can see, we're gonna see this throughout this video. One of the big things that people do, by the way, this is the fire department walking by, I just wanted to point that out. Um, one of the big things that, that people do during the Ipico is that you actually march along with the horses. That is super popular. And all throughout this video, you will see just tons of people walking walking along the parade route. And the parade is very disorganized. A horse will come by all by itself. It'll come by in a couple. They'll come by in a big group. It is all over the place. You don't really know what to expect uh, at any given moment. You can go big gaps of time where there's nothing coming in the parade and then a huge amount will come together. Sometimes a band comes by, sometimes a float comes by. There's a bunch of different things but it's it, it, it's very sporadic and so there's a couple different ways that people tend to consume uh, the Ipico. One is to march along with it which is a lot of fun or do what I like to do which is start at the beginning and walk to the end so you're kind of walking through it you get it kind of at fast speed because it does actually drag on a little bit um, if you're just uh, walking along with it, it it's on the slow side uh, but they got these higantonas which are these really tall spanish ladies that are a traditional uh spectacle in nicaragua they're always in uh in the parade of course the desfile and uh uh so so that's one way marching along with it very very popular 
the other thing that people like to do is find a good spot along the parade route. So here you can see a whole bunch of people standing there with the police uh, just along the sidewalk or whatever, and they're watching from there. So that's one popular way to go. The other is to find a spot that you can block off. So in our particular case, in this particular uh, parade, we actually had a space of our own that was private and blocked off on the sidewalk, which was great because I was able to set up the camera on a tripod and get these really steady distance shots that, that, that I think turned out pretty well and are different than what we filmed in the other Epicos. I didn't bring out the 360 cam and walk through the parade as we have in the past. Uh, and there you can see a blocked off area, like tables out against the street and then a private viewing area uh, there. That's one example. And then there you can see uh, actual uh, uh, Tonya-sponsored uh, area that's been set up. Um, and often bars and restaurants will uh, work with uh, the sponsors, because Tonya is the big national sponsor of these, Cerveza Rio Nacional. And uh, they'll set up these kind of official makeshift bars along the street. Sometimes it's on uh, sidewalk, sometimes it's in a side street, sometimes it's uh, just an extension of an existing restaurant or bar it's all over the place. But people will go very early in the day, uh, maybe 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, and get a space. There you can see the Tonya booth again. Uh, get a space in one of those and have, uh, you know, a chair and it's much more relaxing uh, so those are kind of the ways that people approach it if it's something that you're really dedicated and you know you want to do and you don't want to walk all day you want to just sit with your friends have some beers uh, and, and have like a place that people can meet you that is a popular way to go and then also if you just want to walk around you can do that so I've always walked in the past that's how I have filmed the Ipico and that has worked really well I think that actually gives us a bit better footage but this was interesting and a very big change of pace and I, and I wanted to try it out. So this is all shot within a one block area, but we got some good footage. Uh, now, one of the other things that comes along in the parade um, is uh, bands. And so there's lots of bands on the back of trucks or marching along uh, that play music. So we're gonna show one right now. So one of the reasons that I play music when showing this is that in real life, there is a ton of awesome music and loud music being played during all of this. It could be bands, it could be uh, uh, radios that are playing, but there's so often uh, pre-recorded music being played that I will get flagged and we won't be able to show you the footage if we let the music play. So this is a situation where when it's one of those bands and it's really isolated like that, I'm able to, there's another band going by, uh, I'm able to isolate that and, and let you guys hear that so you get an idea of what that part sounds like. But a lot of this, we just have, you know, people DJing, DJs playing music or whatever as you come by, which sounds great. It's a lot of fun when you're on the street, but I can't put that in a recording uh, for you guys. So I have to play separate music to make it all make sense so you kind of get a feel for what it's actually like. Now, this is a great example of people walking by with a lot of horses that are just kind of meandering by. There isn't a lot of organization in the Ipicos. For the most part, kind of the theme is people are, this girl's really shy. I have no idea why she's covering up her face, but she walked the whole parade completely covered up. And it's not like I'm standing there filming. These are just cameras on tripods. So it's very uh, casual, kind of like a TV camera. Uh, but... Um, the horses and the riders tend to just kind of come by sporadically. Um, there is some kind of competition, but I have no idea what it is or how it works. Uh, there is a lot of showing off different uh, farms. That's like a big thing, like the ranches uh, want to get recognition. These, some of these are horse farms, some of them are cattle ranches. 
and they have like teams that are coming by. Um, I'm not sure. Some of them, I think, are winners of things. So they have the sashes there, but I can't read them. Uh, you can probably pause it and get a feel for what it is. And hats are sold in great number. This is where the majority of the country gets their cowboy hats from these Ipicos, because this takes place all over the country. There's barely a city of any size that doesn't have an Ipico. And one of the biggest things that I actually got myself on camera there, I didn't even realize that's me walking by with the GoPro out there in the audience. It's cool that I was able to leave this uh, camera. This is actually being shot from the Fuji uh, mounted on, on one side of the street and uh, get myself there a little bit and I'm gone. Um, uh, there's barely a center of population anywhere in the country that does not have one of the Ipicos coming through. Actually, there I am on, on screen again walking through uh, with a friend of ours on the horse. And uh, so no matter where you are, what you're doing, you can uh, attend one or many uh, of these events. Um, now, they'll be mostly smaller. Leon is one of the big ones. Uh, Nagarote is quite good. Uh, I know that uh, Fugalpa, Boaco, those tend to be kind of big. Matagalpa tends to be pretty big. And then Managua is enormous. We did Managua last year, and it is such a huge event. The parade goes all day. It starts in the morning, and it's still going at 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, coming through areas like Los Robles. So these things can be really, really major events. Here in Leon, it's pretty big. They start at uh, about, like I said, 10 to 11 people tend to start drinking. The actual parade starts around 3 o'clock. Most parades do, if you're ever wondering why are parades so late in the day in Nicaragua, it's because they want the heat of the day to start to dissipate and they want the sun to go down a little bit. It just works way better. If you were to start first thing in the morning, it would just get hotter and hotter and people will be cooking all day long it, it just wouldn't be a great scene so they tend to do it a little bit later go they let it cool down while they're doing the parades because of the city at around three o'clock the sun starts getting uh, shielded and, and shaded by the buildings for the most part most of these streets are relatively tight so you can see that you know we're out of the sun uh, by the time that, that this is going on uh, and then this goes until uh, pretty late in the evening. Then there's a small break while people migrate, maybe one or two hours, giving people time to move around the city. And then there is a uh, rodeo, or rodeo, as we often say in English, but rodeo is the correct term. And uh, that is uh, at least at the time that we did this one. So in uh, this particular filming, we actually went and attended the rodeo. It's the first time we've ever done this here in Nicaragua. And it was really interesting, but as you're going going to see later in the video, we end up with some rough weather. Really, here, this is really good. Like, this is nice uh, and clear for the most part. We had some clouds, which is all great, but uh, we had some rain coming. The upcoming Epico, that is, in just a few days. Um, and, and a quick reminder uh, that on Thursday, uh, tomorrow, well, for most of you, it'll be today that you're seeing this video, uh, is our live stream. So uh, make sure to, to take a moment to put that on your calendar that you'll do that uh, Thursday evening. That's November 21st, Thursday. We normally start somewhere between, I say 5.30 and 6.30. We definitely normally start after 6. I try to get at least about 5.45, 5.50. I think that works a bit better. And we go for several hours. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Please join us. It's fantastic. And uh, we, we often will get 40, 50 people at a time. We'll get three, four, five hundred 500 views uh, during the live stream. It's a great time to ask questions in real time, uh, to hang out with other people on the channel. So uh, the upcoming Ipico is expected to be in a lot of rain. We've been in nonstop rain for many days here. Uh, and it is expected to continue through the weekend. But they've already rescheduled the Ipico, so it's coming rain or shine. Uh, so I probably won't be out there with a good Fuji camera like I'm shooting here, but I will have the GoPros and uh, hopefully the 360 and uh, do some wandering around and get some, some really good footage of, of that one. Um, I think this one is going to be the larger event than the one that's being shown here. Uh, there is a Rodeo after the one this weekend as well. So if you're going to be in Leon, definitely uh, wander the streets, look for me out filming. I'm not attending the Rodeo afterwards though. Uh, but so at this one, we went to the Rodeo for the first time and some of uh, my audience was there, which is super cool. We kind of met. We ended up having coffee the next day, uh, but we saw each other there and waved and uh, figured out we're texting each other across uh, the, the stadium. Um, but it is fun. Uh, it's a it's a standard rodeo like you would get in Texas or whatever, much smaller. 
uh, obviously, but uh, people riding horses and bull riding and seeing how long they can make it and, and running barrels or whatever, uh, and w- which can be fun, but uh, the bleachers in Leon, not super comfortable. We didn't go for the VIP seating. We went for public seating, not expensive to get in. If you're interested at all, definitely check it out. Um, and it was neat just getting to see it and experience that bit of Nicaraguan culture. Uh, we found that being there in the pouring rain in the public area wasn't great. It doesn't have the best uh, bathroom facilities. There aren't a lot of things to do. There's a little bit of food, of course, but not a ton. Um, And as vegetarians, there's basically nothing for us. So it basically was sitting on wet bleachers in the pouring rain, uh, watching people riding bulls in mud, which is honestly kind of cool. But the, the whole event is so slow. There's so much time in between riders that uh, we didn't stay for a real long time. We found it a little bit on the uh, the less gripping side, but it is cool. And, and of course, we're not rodeo people, so uh, not not something that was likely to really draw us in a whole lot, but uh, definitely interesting. But if you're looking for a full day event, you want to just be able to, you know, have nothing planned. Get up in the morning, go out, uh, maybe get breakfast before you do this. Get, get yourself hydrated and some food in your system, uh, but head out and, uh, you know, start at 11, find a good spot and just make an entire day of it uh, and go until midnight, 1, 2 in the morning. You can totally do that uh, with the Ipico uh, coming up this weekend or, or probably any of them anywhere around the country. Here we have a bit more density. There's more horses all at once. This is kind of what people, I think, expect most of the time, but there's actually a lot of empty space uh, during just so much of the event. But it is a fun parade. Uh, one thing is definitely be careful. Anyone who goes, uh, if you're if you're having a few drinks, which is exactly why people do this. This is a this is important to understand. Though, and if you're watching this, you're like, what are we watching? What what is really going on? This is a huge drinking event. This is a social event. Um, it, and think of it that way. Think of it less of a parade and more of being a massive social uh, event, like the social event of the season uh, kind of thing. Everybody hangs out. It's a chance to go see your friends, uh, take the day off. The whole city shuts down. Everybody's out watching the Ipico. Go out, have some beers, make a day of it, uh, really enjoy it. And, and we're really sad that we skipped going to these when we first got to the country. Uh, in, in 2021, we didn't go to one at all. We didn't realize uh, what a big thing it was. We didn't realize how important it was to local Leon culture, how important it was it is in general to Nicaraguan culture. We thought it was just this horse show that, you know, was probably interesting, but we lived at the beach. We didn't want to take a drive into the city. Once we've actually attended these, we realized that we had completely the wrong idea. And this is, and even these videos do not do justice to what a major uh, societal event this is and, and just how many people turn out to do this. And, and of course, the horses and, and all the riders are coming in from out of town. It's just, it's just super interesting. And I don't know any other culture anywhere someone again will pop in and correct me but that's fantastic down those notes and let me know i don't know anyone anywhere uh who does this like nicaragua does it's such a unique thing that uh i I really recommend uh at least once uh, going out and doing this And, and of course if you live here in nicaragua if you're making that effort to be a part of uh your local community this is an important thing to do. This is something that people talk about, something that people are excited and look forward to, and a really good uh, time to get out and meet people, get out and see people that you know and, and make connections. And uh, you know, People are always asking me, or, or discussing, you know, how can I do more to be you know, uh, accepted in my community, to be seen as uh, you know, putting in that effort uh, for those who, who really want to integrate and, and be part of things well this is a great example of and i say you know go out to do parades go out and uh, see the religious or the, the the folk festivals or whatever get involved nicaraguans really do these things if this is the united states uh, if this was canada this type of event would draw a very tiny percentage of the population it would be seen as a niche kind of event and it would you know get some people uh, might have some interest but it would be it would be very much a fringe thing and that is not at all the case here in Nicaragua this is extremely mainstream entertainment this is a, the perfect place uh, to show yourself and to to just meet people or whatever so um, 
uh, of all the types of events, this is one of the best uh, to, to make sure that you're attending. And all you have to do is, is get a seat and sit on the side, or, or if you're running late, just walk along. Don't, don't feel that you have to do anything formal. So many of these people are just, they just showed up, walked, you know, parked somewhere, walked up to the, to the strip, and uh, started walking along the parade route, and there's people selling, and you can see them in these videos, there are people selling snacks and water and beer and whatever everywhere. There is absolutely no shortage. Buy yourself a hat uh, and, and just have a really good time. Just get in to the spirit of things and, and have fun. Um, but do be careful, the horses are everywhere. They, they can't hear you because it's loud music. Uh, it's very easy for a horse to back into you, to knock you into, uh, into the, the sidewalk or whatever. Just be aware of your surroundings. It's not a good place to get uh, super drunk. If you're going to walk, if you're sitting, that's fine. Um, and not a good place to not be paying attention. So that's just uh, my little word of caution because everybody who does it ends up being nearly stepped on, nearly knocked over. I've been pushed through crowds because I'm... I'm a little bit reckless when filming. Obviously, it, it makes it a little bit harder to pay really close attention to everything. And uh, sometimes I, I just get into situations that are a little bit um, less than absolutely safe because I'm trying to get the right shot. And, and so I've definitely had people near me get pushed into me and be thrown over tables uh, along the side of the route. From It all it takes is a horse turning around. They don't have to be being aggressive or anything. They're just big and powerful and they're going to throw you, so be aware. Now, the other big thing, we haven't shown this yet, but I show it on every one of these videos. Every one of these parades always has the Tonya float sponsored by Cerveceria Nacional. Now, the big one in Managua is going to have like, I don't know, eight floats or so. Uh, most of these are only going to have one, but we are going to see that coming up in just a little bit. There's always one from Tonya, and there's always one from a barber supply company. I have no idea why they're the other float company, but they are. Now, this is obviously the rain. This came to, I wanted to show just how much is pouring off the roof there. So this is where I was filming from. I had to grab the camera and step under the eaves a little bit so I wasn't getting wet, but I managed to get some shots. Uh, and luckily the Fuji handles this low light really well. Uh, but, oh, these poor horses. I mean, the horses probably don't care too much. Horses stand out in the rain all the time. Uh, but everybody is just out in the pouring rain. And it's coming down hard. Uh, so again, this is June and just so much rain. Everybody was drenched. Those cowboy hats come in really handy uh, in this kind of weather. But so this is the entire evening. This didn't let up. This started at, I think, about six o'clock and went all night. We were at the rodeo very late and it was still going. So we were so wet. That was partially why we, if, if it was a really beautiful night, nice and clear, we probably would have stayed at the rodeo. But with that kind of rain, it just was not not going to be what we wanted to do. Now, this is the Tonya float there, and that's the barber float back behind them. <laughs> Such a funny thing. And then that's a band in between. The, uh, like I said, in Leon, we just get one float with the Tonya girls, and uh, they just play, you know, DJ mixes and, and dance along. Uh, but it's, for obvious reasons, super popular and uh, just a major thing, right? People look forward to the Tonya floats, and they have the giant Ipico horse as the, the float itself, and uh, it's a funny thing, uh, but uh, very Nicaraguan. Uh, but we don't have many floats. It's really under normal circumstances. Just these two. I don't know if I've ever seen more than that anywhere except Managua, and in Managua it's really just copies of these for the most part, just many of them at different times. Uh, so they'll have I believe what it is is that they have these these floats for different epicos around the country, so they don't necessarily move them really far. Uh, and then when they go to Managua, they take them all and use all of them uh, at the same time. So that's why it's a little bit a little bit different. Uh, and obviously, everyone comes out and films the floats uh, extra. You can see all the all the police heading off to because this is kind of the end of the parade route, and with all the rain, uh, they're sort of wrapping up here. But, but it's a, it's a fun time. And, and of course, a lot of people are trying to uh, get to the rodeo. They want to get the best seats. A lot of people are running to get dinner before they uh, go to the rodeo in the evening. So that is, uh, that's big. It, it's a really big uh, day for going out. So all the restaurants are packed. 
especially ones along the parade route. If you are desperate for seating, you want to be able to do something, get away from the parade route a little bit, and uh, normally you'll be okay. But if you're on the parade route itself, it's going to be very, very difficult uh, to uh, to find anything. Those places fill up, not just the places on the street, not just the seats that are on the street. There, the camera got noticed. <laughs> They're like, oh, we're, we're being recorded. And, uh, um, uh, but the restaurants that are anywhere near are going to fill up all the inside as well. So uh, just be aware. It's kind of obvious, but you may not think about it when you're planning uh, your evening. There's the band waving to us. Unfortunately, we're, it's so loud uh, with the float that there's no way to hear the band, so we have to keep, keep the music playing. And here comes the, what are they called? Barber style. Uh, it's, it's a van that they have mounted a stage on top. So this is, the, the Tonya floats like an actual float, like a full float being pulled by a truck. Totally makes sense. But the barber style, and these, these, again, we see them all the time. This is not a one-time thing. These are always out there, and they just took a big van and somehow reinforced the roof and added these, these railings, and these girls just dance on top of a van as it drives through. It's a little bit on the funny side, but it's, uh, it is a staple of the Ipicos and, and most of the parades. Uh, if, it's a, if it's a true like party parade, obviously not religious events or anything like that. And you'll see in the background, you can actually just make this out, that that is the Ruben Dario Museum. Uh, so that is actually the corner just behind those girls was uh, the house where Ruben Dario grew up. And people love to dance on the street as well. So you'll find people everywhere dancing. And that's part of the fun of the Ipico. Have some drinks, get into it. Wherever you are, just have a good time. Don't worry about it. It is, it is casual. Everyone's out to have fun. Nobody's worried. It's, it's, you know, it's not formal in any way, which I, hopefully the video has portrayed that, right? The whole just walking along. You see a horse you like, you can walk around, walk along with them. If there's, you know, just anything, just head down the parade route, do whatever you want to do, whatever is, uh, is entertaining. And uh, that's, that's kind of how uh, it works. So uh, heavily, heavily encourage you to uh, come out and give the Ipico a try wherever you are. They, they run um, through about half the year, I think. The schedule is long, and they do come back. Like I said, this is June, and they're going to be back uh, this weekend. I'm not sure which day. I think they're on Sunday uh, this weekend in Leon. And again, live stream on Thursday, which probably is when you're watching this. So plan to join us on there. That would be fantastic. We always get a few more people uh, each time. We just grow a little by little. But it's so cool meeting new people and getting to talk to you in real time. So please jump on there. We're just about to wrap this up. We're going to uh, go to future Scott as I uh, uh, give you kind of a summary. But thanks for joining us. And uh, that is the parade for 2024. I hope that you guys enjoyed getting to see what the events are like here. We have filmed a number of these in different cities uh, over the years. If you found this interesting, check out episodes on the Managua Ipica, the Nagarote Ipica. That was fantastic. Uh, and I have some raw footage over on my raw footage channel at Scott Allen Miller. This is at Scott Allen Miller vlog. That's at Scott Allen Miller. And we put some raw footage of things over there. So things that, that you know, get edited, uh, hit the cutting room floor on this channel are available over there for people to see more. Mostly it's just a way for me to emotionally not have to throw away uh, footage that I put effort into collecting. It just makes me feel better. So we have that channel for that as well. But it is a, this is a fun event. I really like the Ipica and I'm looking forward to getting to uh, attend this weekend. It's fun to film. It's fun to attend. Uh, uh, you know, we've taken groups of people and go out drinking early in the day, wander with uh, the, the parade maybe find a place to camp uh, and hang out with friends. There's, there's a lot of different ways to do it. There's a rodeo or rodeo as North Americans know it, uh, after uh, typically, which we did last time with some of the audience uh, here on the channel went, uh, went with us and that was cool, but I'm not a rodeo kind of guy. I did a little bit of that when I was young and it's cool and all and I, a lot of people wanna do it. 
not my thing, but the, the actual parade, the Epic F through the streets is really cool, highly recommended, and so uniquely a part of Nicaraguan culture that uh, it's important to get out there and celebrate it. It is, it is pretty special. So thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe if you'd like to help support the channel. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller or join our membership, which is just $5 a month and just get, gives up a steady income to help pay for the cameras and stuff here on the show. All of it goes towards making all of this possible. This is not a money-making uh, thing and we don't sell anything. So that's the only support that we get. So I really appreciate all of you guys who help make this possible. And as always, I will see all of you tomorrow.